10 pounds of our uh, homegrown tomatoes, and I like to use like all the Romas. Okay, take the uh, tomatoes and core them and quarter them. Don't take the uh, peels off or seed them. Stick them in the food processor and just get it chunky. I, I like it like that. Okay, while I was doing the real hard work uh, quartering the tomatoes, my wife was uh, quartering up the onions and the jalapenos, the easy stuff. Uh, so you're going to need four celery sticks, uh, two large green peppers, two large uh, red peppers, eight jalapenos, three large onions, a quarter cup of uh, chopped cilantro or parsley, five garlic cloves, uh, and I think uh, usually we throw in some uh, corn. Take your, your onions. You don't want to liquefy them, but you want to like finely chop them. So I put they, th these in the uh, food processor as well and then uh, chop them. Okay, and the same, the same thing with the peppers, everything basically, uh, you know, dice finely with the food processor. And it's best to put a little in at a time so you can control it. You don't want to liquefy it. That's how I like it. I like it kind of chunky. You get the idea. These are the heirloom uh, carrots. They're red and pink and uh, yellow, and uh, that's how chunky I like them for the salsa. Good stuff. And uh, the only thing that we don't chop up to kind of a chunkiness is the corn. I put a couple uh, ears in, and that kind of adds some nice color. It's a really cool looking salsa. Okay, then I put two cans of uh, Hunt's tomato paste in there. Okay, and then there's, what is there, four cans of Carlita diced green chilies. Four tablespoons of kosher salt. Half a cup of sugar, the juice of a whole lemon, a cup of white vinegar, don't worry you will not taste it, whoa, two tablespoons of paprika, one tablespoon of cayenne pepper, bam, bam. all right, then put in six to ten drops of your favorite hot sauce, however way you like it. Okay, we put our uh, dishwasher on super hot and we sanitize, put it on sanitize and uh, do our jars, get those super red hot and while this is cooking basically and we just cook it to where all the flavors are mixed and uh, the carrots and the celery are soft and that's when we'll start the canning process and this recipe has evolved. We add things, we take things away every year. Uh, it's a work of art and anybody taking this recipe on I'm sure would add what they like too. It's, it's a fun, salsa's fun, it's just fun to do. Okay, this has been going for about an hour, and that, you know, gets everything just soft, not mushy, but soft, and uh, melts all the flavors together, and we taste test it to see where we are to add anything if we, if we want, and we get our big pot of water boiling, and then I've got uh, this thing just about done, it's drying right now on uh, sanitize, and uh, this is how we do it. You can do it the way you want it, but this is how we do it, it really works for us, and we're going to start... Uh, ladling this in and then processing the uh, pint of salsa. All right. Sorry about the film. I'm taking these out and these are red bloody hot. Yikes. Okay. Get this out. Just ladle it in. I'm going to get it up to about a half an inch, a quarter inch, usually within that area. you got to have enough for it to, to make a vacuum. That's all. Okay. Our processor holds seven, so my wife and I put these on. She wipes all the caps and just put them on snug. Let me put this in here. 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes. Take them out. Oh man, look at that. Nice. Alright, we'll load this one back up. Another 30 minutes. Alright, there we go. Got 16 pints out of that. And uh, it's a good thing because we only got three left on the shelf. So these will go into uh, rotation downstairs, and uh, that's my salsa for the year. Gun and Run Salsa by Yankee Prep. Mmm, that is good salsa. Mmm.